Hey guys, it's Karen Mero. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect Aweber to ClickFunnels in order to promote your ClickBank product. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. This channel is all about affiliate marketing, how to make money online, how to make money from home. And if you are interested in learning more about those topics, make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell icon that we can be notified when I upload new videos, which right now is on a daily basis. That being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Day before yesterday, we talked about how to create a landing page for ClickBank using ClickFunnels. And then today we're going to create a list in Aweber and connect that to ClickFunnels so that you'll have an email follow-up series. So the first thing you wanna do is go to your Aweber. You're going to go on Manage Lists. And right here, you're gonna create a new list. You can put in your website here. Uh, you're required to put your actual address in here by law. I recommend that you get a domain name. My domain name is karenmero.com. And I get this through GoDaddy and you can get um, an email like this because that way it won't go to spam. Like if you use a Gmail or something like that, you wanna make sure you have a domain name for your email. And then you're gonna name your list. So let's just say, maybe we're gonna promote ClickBank University, learn how to market ClickBank products and earn money online. Next step. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just approve this, but we're gonna take off the double opt-in, which is gonna be, let's see, manage lists, list options, list settings right here. So you're gonna go on confirmation message and click this off. That way they don't have a double opt-in. You're gonna have better, better conversions. So that is how you create the list and then you want to add follow-up messages to your list. Let's just say we're going to cl um, promote Click ClickBank University. When you go into the actual product on ClickBank, you can click on the affiliate tab and then you'll have some follow-up messages that you can use. So this will be your first one. We're going to go to legacy follow-up series. We're gonna do drag and drop. And this is gonna be the first one. We're gonna put the title, the subject line right here. And then we're just gonna copy, copy and paste this. Of course you can customize it however you want to. Okay, we actually have to get our affiliate link here. Sometimes they'll fill it in for you as you're opting into the affiliate site. But this one looks like we have to get our affiliate link. Anyhow, let's just say, here it is. Right here. So you just put your Click the bank affiliate ID there. Then we're gonna go back to the message here. Take this out. And we're gonna hyperlink this, highlight that. Click on this little link right here. And then you'll paste the URL right there. And that's gonna be your affiliate link. Just say, let's 
Let's see, what did they, how did they end this here? Oh, they didn't even put their name in there, but I like to put my Facebook so that they can see that I'm a real person. Put that in there. And then you can put in your picture. Put your image in here. Okay, and then preview and test. Send a test to yourself and make sure that this is correct. If it is, save and exit. And then you're going to add to follow-up series. And then to add another one, you'll just go back and do the exact same thing. You'll go to Legacy Follow-Up Series, create a message, drag and drop, and you'll do the same thing until you have all your messages in there. And I forgot to tell you, you have to do a sign-up form here in order to integrate Aweber with your ClickFunnels. So we're just going to click on, make sure you have the current list, pick, you pick that up here, create a sign up form, and then it has name and email, which is what we have on our opt-in form in ClickFunnels. So we're going to go to this here, save your form. Okay, so that's it. Then we're going to go to ClickFunnels. And I'm going to pick one of our funnels here. Let's see, let's just pick Pick this one. So you're going to edit page. Actually, before we do that, since you don't have Aweber in here yet, let's go back to the beginning here. Sorry. You will go to your account. And on the left hand side here, you will see integrations. So you'll click on that. I have already added this, another list here, but what you're gonna do is make sure you add that list. So you're gonna click on add new integration, and then you will pick Aweber, and whatever you named your list over in Aweber, which is going to be ClickBank University. Because you want to make sure you have the right list. And then Connect Integration. And it's going to take you to this form here. And then you've at, I see in the upper right hand corner here it says Aweber was successfully created. So then you're going to go to your funnel. And pick your funnel that you want to add it to. Then click on Edit Page. And then under Settings here on the left, click on Integrations. I'm going to take, I already had something connected here. So we're going to click right here, Integration, and it'll be You'll pick the list that you already 
put in there earlier and then integrate existing form and then save and that's it you just want to make sure that you test this out so take this link right here because this is the link you're going to use when you give this to your solo ad vendor but actually I would say put it into click magic so you can track it but this should come up here and then what you want to do is put your name and email in here test this out to make sure that you got your follow-up message that you created in here and also that you were added to that list in Aweber so those two things and that way you know that it's working correctly before you you uh, go out and buy a solo ad or start to run traffic to this so that is how you uh, connect Aweber to ClickFunnels hopefully you were able to follow this okay if you have any questions make sure you leave a comment below this video and again if you're new to the channel and you want to learn more topics about this kind of thing make sure you click the subscribe button and also if you want to learn my number one recommendation for making money online that'll be the first link in the description below this video with that being said this is karen merrill signing off and i'll see you guys in the next video